everyone welcome back to the channel today is another marathon but this marathon is completely different from my regular marathons that i do this is an after night clean with me on different types of styles of cleaning in my home this is one hour of some deep cleaning some surface cleaning counterclockwise cleaning just a lot of cleaning motivation if you are needing some cleaning for this weekend I have it for you. I hope that you guys enjoy and welcome back and welcome and thank you guys so much for watching. So now let's go ahead and get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just going to be a late night clean with me. I decided to go ahead and do this last night because honestly I had the energy. I was productive, motivated, and just wanted to get it done. It's really not too messy. There's just things, you know, around that needs to be put back in its place. So I started off doing that. And there is Mila Jean, always around grandma. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I started in my living room cleaning this one because this is the main room that we are mostly, well, I am in. The kids are always in their bedrooms. You guys know how that goes if you have kids. But usually I'm in here a lot and it needed some attention, mostly dusting. So I tried to get every space in here that I could that I know that holds a lot of dust. So that's the reason why I'm doing the living room. And plus, it really wasn't a hard cleaning. I call this soft cleaning when I clean. So I was glad to be able to get this finished and taken care of and continue to go on with my other tasks that I have.
Toby Joe is like my supervisor. He is always around his mommy, checking me out, making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And there he goes, taking a ride on the show. That's my baby. He is a seven year old Siamese cat. That's very curious with the big personality. And if you guys stay tuned and tuned in, you guys will see that he is always around me in the majority of the videos, but that is my Toby Joe. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started right now. I am about to continue to vacuum over here in this corner, just trying to get all the dust off the floor before I start mopping. found that the fabuloso the lavender kind is my favorite to use on the floors it makes my house smell good it lingers around for a few hours so i've decided to stick with this brand and just buy it in the larger containers If you are having trouble and um, feeling overwhelmed of the thought of trying to find an area in your home to clean or areas, take a breather, take a step and figure out, first you need to figure out what area in your home that you would like to clean. And you really need to set a time or day when you're going to start that project. Go in with a positive attitude make sure you have the specific tools that you are using for that area and start cleaning in small steps. Okay guys, we are finished. This is the end of the video. I hope that I was able to give you some type of cleaning motivation for your home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of my supporters. Like I've said before, you guys, I am here honestly to help you stay motivated and productive in your home. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care and stay true to what you do. Bye you guys.
You guys will be seeing this Saturday morning, but I went ahead and did my new intro. So check that out. I hope you guys like it, but happy Friday. Thank you guys for being here today. It's going to be an after dark clean with me. Um, the kitchen is of course on the list. It's really not too much to do. I just want to wipe the counters down in the kitchen. I also want to do my dishes and just sweep the floor. That's basically it. I'm closing my house down for the weekend. Well, for tonight, but I'm getting the shade shut down and just everything cleaned up so we can just chill out and be comfortable in our home. In the living room, there is a lot that needs to be done in there. I need to vacuum off the pillows, get those cleaned off. Those are my extra pillows that I have around the home. They're on the dresser. Um, I'm thinking about rearranging the furniture. And if you watch my videos frequently, you will know where my dresser is. And I wanna put the TV back over there on that side. That's the wall closest to the bathroom. Um, I have some decorations that I took out. I had a video that I did on my vlog channel and I took all the decorations out that was in the pantry and they're just sitting there on the dresser. So I have to figure out where to put them at. Um, sweep in there. It's not really too late. It's 7.33 p.m. but I still have to be mindful of my neighbors. I'm gonna just go ahead and vacuum the floor. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of mopping. I'll save that for another day just to go around and um, really get all the floors clean. So that's gonna be a whole video on itself. But um, dust in there, I really need to dust everything down, clean off my coffee tables. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you are cleaning with me, let's go ahead and tackle this mess together. If not, you can also save this video for the next time that you are cleaning your space in your home. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get some cleaning motivation done. All right, here we go, you guys. I started off by putting this chair back in the hallway. We'll use that for the computer desk. Okay, as you guys know, I have not really put in works of decorating how I am wanting to in the living room. It's a work in progress. It's actually not even got started yet. But to be honest, I think I'm just gonna go ahead to Walmart. Hopefully they still have them, the striped curtains that I have, and just put on every single window in the living room. Honestly, I'm also thinking about I'll add those into the kitchen also. There's just so much that I want to do while I'm here in this apartment. To be honest, you guys, 2024 is a time for me to really evaluate and think about what I want to do, and that is to move. I'm honestly ready to move. I miss having white walls. I miss my carpet. Um, we've been here for six years, like I've said plenty of times on this channel, and it's time for a change. I'm ready for that. I'm ready to find myself who needs to truly, really well when I start decorating my home in the near future I don't want you guys to think this is for social media this will truly be me who I was um, I've lost myself back in the day things have happened but now I have found myself and I'm ready to show you guys who I truly am how I live and just everything about me so just stay tuned if you are subscribed to my channel just be patient Time changes, you know, and things do change in your life. I'm ready for it. That's all I'm going to say right now. But we're going to get back to cleaning. I'm going to be dusting off my coffee table. It was very dirty. My fur babies get up there sometimes, especially Jasper. And he eats because he is a senior and he's having trouble jumping up on things. So I just go ahead and put it up there for him. But they had a great time. Their toys were spread everywhere. They just they just do stuff, you guys. <laughs> I love them to death. I love my babies. So much but um yeah i'm going to be dusting everything off dust accumulates in this apartment so quickly so fast and i think the majority of the reason why is because there's not enough air circulation half the windows do not open up you know and one rule in my home i do not like to wear shoes because all the stuff from outside you're just bringing inside and when you're living with allergies and asthma that's really not a good thing so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up behind here, sweeping off the TV real good, dusting it off, I should say.
so right now I'm about to start cleaning off my decorative pillows. These are just extra pillows that I have purchased years ago. They've just been around and I really don't have to too good of a spot to put them in so I just keep them up here on this dresser. So a great tip to use if you need to clean your pillows off. These are like cloth pillows. There's a difference sometimes the fabric is like a thin material but these are cloth and the hair just came right off. I had no problem using my Bissell vacuum to do this. So these will be put back up here but in a little bit I will be changing the dresser to go back where my TV is and moving the cubicles right back over here where they was. So. You guys know I'm always trying to move things, especially heavy things in my home by myself. I learned the hard way. I'm relaxing now. <laughs> um, it really wasn't too bad, but this dresser honestly threw my back out. I had to sit down for some hours after I got finished with this, even though it was a late night and I should have went to bed. But sometimes it's like that. I just sit down, regain my strength and my energy and get back up and continue in my day. But I got it taken care of. But yeah, lesson learned from this. Have someone else help you when you are working with heavy furniture or appliances in your home. be going next right in there so yeah I'm really loving this jazz little background music playing 
Okay, this is my setup. If you guys did not know, I did this the other day on my vlog channel. If you have not seen that video, if you'd like to go check it out, it is Vibing with Nisi. I got this little setup. I also need to put something right here in the center. And here is how my pantry turned out, you guys. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. All right, so now the only thing we have in the kitchen is basically to wipe the top of the stove off. Put those little um, placemats away, some few dishes, shut my shades, and wipe the counters, and we will be finished. So let's get started. And just like that, I am finished with my cleaning motivation. I hope you're able to take some motivation to tackle the space in your home. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Hey guys, welcome to my summer nighttime clean with me. We are just going to be focusing in the bathroom today, getting the walls wiped down, getting all this cleaned out. If I have enough time, I'm going to go down here up underneath the cabinet and clean everything out. But my main focus is the shower. It's very disgusting and dirty. So we need to get this taken care of. I have already swept the floor, so most likely I will just go through over it real quick with the mop, and that will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to cleaning.
a few dishes in the sink. I'm going to go ahead and wash them out real quickly. And we are going to be done with the kitchen. We are going to move into the living room.
Quick question for you guys, out of all of the cleaning products, what is your always to go to all purpose cleaner? Mine personally is Lysol. That's why months later I have returned back using it. Like I said previously, I love comments, but good old Lysol won't hurt anyone. So I was glad to purchase that. Alright, so this is the cabinet above my toilet. I straightened it up as best as I could. It's not as big. I think I'm going to go honestly to Dollar Tree and if you was able to catch the haul, maybe about a few hauls back. Anyway, I had purchased some essential um, acrylic bins and I'm using those in my refrigerator. I found a good spot for those so they work wonderful. I'm thinking about going to Dollar Tree because they have a lot left. Hopefully they still do. And just taking everything out and redoing this, this will be in, you know, maybe the next couple couple videos from now. I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys. So I think I'm about to go ahead and doing that. I think it'll fit things much better and it'll be easier because some things are bulky and honestly don't need to be in this cabinet, but I'm just trying to utilize my space as best as I can. So we got this one taken care of.
guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video is going to be a late night clean with me in my kitchen. I am just going to be wiping down all the cabinets, wiping down all of the counters, doing my dishes, sweeping and mopping the floor. So if you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation, continue to watch and I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's get started. I think when I first started cleaning, it was maybe about 1030, close to 11. When I got finished cleaning, it was one o'clock in the morning, a little after one o'clock. But anyways, I'm going ahead and filling up these bottles. I have my olive oil in one bottle and I went ahead and put the red wine vinegar in the other. Of course, yeah, I made a mess, but we're going to get that cleaned up. I started doing that and then putting things away that was on the counter that didn't need to be out, like the chips, put the bread in the refrigerator. You know, little things like that. It wasn't as bad, but it was messy. The, t the kitchen did need attention, so I just went ahead and wanted to get this taken care of so I can wake up the next day and have a fresh start. My mind cleared, and I was able to continue on without being a little stressed out because little things like these sometimes do get me overwhelmed just a little bit because it is a daily task, and we're all human. Things happen. But anyways... Just gonna go ahead and get the dishes put up. I have some dishes right here that I'm about to do. Just taking care of all the odds and ends, filling the dish soap dispenser back up. Then I'll be putting the potato chips and pretzels back in their place. And then I will eventually get started on doing the dishes. <laughs>
This last video brought so much great memories. This was in fall 2023. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your support. I will see you guys on the next cleaning video. Until then, happy cleaning, stay productive, stay motivated, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.